Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Miss Kathy's Critter Corner. I'm Miss Kathy, Children's Library Assistant, and today we're going to meet a few new kinds of moth caterpillars. The Cecropia moth is the biggest moth in North America, up to 7 inches across. Recently, my friend Allie found this injured female. Because she couldn't fly and had fallen from her tree, we put her in an enclosure and she laid a bunch of eggs before she died. Like other silk moths, Cecropia moths don't eat as adults and they only live about two weeks. Here is what the eggs looked like. After a couple of weeks, they hatched out. At first, they stay together in groups. They're starting to get bigger and change color. Here they are at two weeks old. You can see how different the coloring is now. Here's one that had just shed its skin. This is what the pupa will look like, hidden inside a silk cocoon, like this one. These are slow growing caterpillars, much slower than the butterfly caterpillars that I'm used to raising. So I don't think we're going to see any moths until next spring, but we'll keep an eye on them and see what happens. My friend Joe, who knows everything there is to know about bugs, brought me some new caterpillars to try to raise. They're the caterpillars of the polyphemus moth, which is another giant silk moth. Here they are, about a week or so old. They look very similar to the luna moth caterpillars. They are both kinds of silk moths. Here they are at two weeks. They look very different. This is what an adult polyphemus moth looks like. You might see them flying around the lights at your front door. These caterpillars also take a very long time to grow, so we won't be seeing any polyphemus moths until at least next spring, but we'll keep watching. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about giant silk moths. I learned a lot too making this video and I hope you'll come back for the next episode. I have lots of new things still to come.